Looks like we're just in time for supper. Dick, get the rest of the boys and grab the herd. We'll take care of those fellas. All right, come on. We're gonna do all right. We haven't done bad so far. Come on, let's get out of here. Self-control, fly off a handle too easy. Say, Fuzzy, didn't the sheriff make you a deputy a little while back? Yeah, yeah, he double tied me last 4th of July to kind of help keep the peace in case some of the boys got to feeling a little bit too rambunctious. Well, you know, the rustlers killed the sheriff and all the other deputies. So it's up to you to take over the sheriff's job till next election. Hey, now, wait a minute. Hold on. I, you can't wait that in my lab. I, I got a business here to take care of. Your duty comes first. You can hire someone to help you out in here. They ain't got no right sticking me out in front for them rustlers to shoot at. Before in my life. Gus, let's have some bourbon. Wait, 
acted friendly. Mistook me for my cousin, Billy Carson. I don't like it. You don't seem to have much love for your cousin. I can thank him for a stretch I did in the pen. I won't forget that in a long time. Well, I'll be doggone. What made Billy Carson act like that? me in a jaw. Don't make sense. Hello, Fuzz. It's good to see your home. Hey, what's the matter with you? You going loco? Who's loco? I met you not 10 minutes ago and you locked me in the jaw. Locked you in the jaw? You're crazy. I just got here. Changing them clothes don't fool me none. I don't know why you've done it, but that's your idea of a joke. When you locked me in the jaw. For peanuts. We're going to own this town before long. Now, listen, Buzz. I don't know where you got that crazy idea, but you didn't see me and I didn't walk you. Well, when you put it that way, I gotta believe you, but by golly, it sure puts a strain on me. Now, let's forget it. <laughs> Outside of that, what's new? Oh, nothing much. Outside of I've been handed the sheriff's job. You, sheriff? <laughs> <laughs> what am I laughing at? Fellas are strangers here in town, ain't you? Is there any law against being a stranger in this town? Oh, no, I didn't mean it that way. I, I was just thinking. Well, don't think out loud. We came in here for grub, not conversation. We ain't got all day. How about some service in this dump? Oh, well, I ain't particular who we'll wait on. <laughs> oh, many. A couple of customers out here. Will you wait on them? Coming up. Billy, come on in. Hi, Fuzz. How's everything? Well, everything's fine. Say, how'd you like to have Minnie rustling up a little grub? Okay, I'll take a chance. You got a line on those rustlers that kill the sheriff, Fuzz? No, not yet, but don't worry. I'll nail them. You know, I didn't plan on getting mixed up in anything like this. I suppose now I better stick around and keep you healthy. Is there anything about my face that you don't like? So was I change it? Yeah, you're welcome to try any time. You know, I like to see people happy.
Hey, Minnie. I'm not very hungry. How about rustling me up a big steak, smothered in onions, huh? <laughs> Come on up. What's the matter? No point. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Yeah, he sure is a dead ringer for the boss. Hello, Miss Ellen. Hello, Frazier. Uh, How's that daddy of yours getting along with his busted collarbone? He's not fit to live with. He's cross as a bear fussing about a trail herd that should be started for the railroad. Well, a good trail boss would settle those worries for him, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. That's why I'm in town, to see if I can find one. Yeah, I got just the man for you. You couldn't find a better one. Miss Foster, I, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Billy Carson. Howdy, miss. Hello. If you'll come out and talk to my dad, you have a job. <laughs> not so fast. Who said I wanted one? Well, why not? Well, ma'am, I never knew that I was supposed to explain just why I didn't want any particular job. Well, it wouldn't hurt you none to do a friend of mine a favor, would it? I'm offering him a job, not asking a favor. Maybe we can cash in on that. I think I'll give it a try. Maybe he's afraid he'll bust his hair if he takes a job. Uh, you keep your nose out of what's none of your business. <laughs> Gun fuzz. We was getting along fine. Yeah, reckon my establishment. I ought to put you two fellows in the calaboose, and I will if you cause any more trouble. Now drag yourself out of here. I'll be seeing you again sometime. That won't be hard. I'll be around. I guess I better leave too before you start another fight. Excuse me, miss. I couldn't help but hear what you said in there about needing a trail boss. What about it? Well, he's in the trail herd is the best thing I do. That's my business. Well, I don't know you, but you can ride out to the ranch and talk to my dad if you like. Well, thank you. I'll be glad to. Sheriff Bart, not bad, huh? Not a bit. Where's Matt? 
<laughs> this will kill you. Matt's promoting himself a job as trail boss of the Foster outfit. <laughs> <laughs> the Foster outfit. Jim, I saw that cousin of yours, Billy Carson, in town. He sure does look like you. You would have been smart to have kept out of my way. Looks like a good time to even up things between us. Hi, Fuzz. Hey, Kevin, what's going on in there? Going on in there? They're holding a raffle. A raffle? <laughs> That's me. I always play raffles. Hold on, hold on. You don't even know what they're raffling. It doesn't make any difference. I never win any. I'll <laughs> never win any. <laughs> You're a cute kid. Hey, give me a ticket on this here raffle. All right, men. Gather around. We're going to have the drawing. Dan Foster's in for a lot of trouble. We better look into it. Oh, uh, I know you and your so-called sense of humor. You ain't gonna get me excited with your mysterious double talk.
the fellow wants to see you, and it's very important. Uh, he knows where to find me. You know, but he's a very busy man. He'd rather have you come with us. Yeah, he'd be disappointed if we didn't bring you. Well, if you're smart, you'll see things our way. Is there any other way? Yeah, but you wouldn't like it. Get going. Using an invitation, that's all, Buzz. You can tell your friend I'll drop around to see him one of these days. You ain't fooling. You'll see him, all right. You'll bet you will. Fellas play kind of rough. Hey, Buzz, uh, if you ever break this thing to ride, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll buy you a new pair of pants. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's a good bet. But look, if you don't stop popping up in different places, every time I turn around, I'm going to put hobbles on you. <laughs> and if you don't feel like telling me what this fight was all about right here, you can just go paddle your own canoe, because if you get in trouble, I ain't going to help you. Oh, Fuzz. I... Fuzz, you wouldn't do that to a pal, would you? No. Whew. Scared me there for a minute, boy. Jim had better crack down on him and fast. I have an idea he'll be a pretty tough nut to crack. Ah, uh, we've had him tough before. seems to know his business. He's going to be all right. Hey, Jim, what's the idea? Oh, I thought you were somebody else. That's all right. I've had that happen before. You can take a message to Jim for me. You know, cattle have a strange way of disappearing when he's around. I wouldn't like to see that happen here. You're pretty quick in calling names, partner. I'm not calling names. I just want him to know where I stand. Yeah, maybe he ain't interested in where you stand. You better keep traveling. We don't want you hanging around here looking for trouble. I'm not hunting with trouble, miss. I'm the most peaceable man in the world. What I saw of you in town the other day wasn't my idea of a peaceable man. And furthermore, some people might be suspicious of a man who refuses a good job and not want him hanging around. I think you've got something there, Miss Foster. You're sticking your neck out pretty far. It might get stepped on. Well, that's my worry, partner. Right now, I've got a lot of work to do. What's the trouble? No trouble. I only thought it might be. That's all. 
Mr. Carson here seems to enjoy a good fight more than a good job. We don't want that kind hanging around here, so you better get going. All right, Mr. Foster. I guess you're going to have to learn the hard way. Keep an eye open. I'm going to leave for a while. I just had a run-in with that cousin of yours, Billy Carson. Yeah? What about? He's wise as a tie-up between you and me. And he sent word warning you not to operate in this part of the country. He's warning me? Ha! That's a laugh. He's lucky I let him live so long. And I'll soon change all that. Yeah, well, you better do something about it pretty quick. Because if you don't, he's going to cause us a lot of trouble. I wouldn't lose any sleep. Get back before old man Foster wonders where I am. I gotta sell myself to him 100%. You take care of your end, I'll handle the rest. So long, Jim. I'll see you later. Okay, keep your eyes and ears open. Bye. Right. Hello, Jim. I hear you wanted to see me. It's been a long time since we had a family get together. Yeah, quite a while. It's about time you learned to keep your nose out of my business. And I say it's about time you changed your business. Jim, I was very fond of your mother. Aunt Jane was a wonderful woman, and I hoped that someday you'd get wise to yourself. But there never was a chance. You're no good. We can do without that mealy mouth sermon. When I was in a tight spot with a sheriff breathing down the back of my neck, you didn't lift a hand to help me. I'd helped you out plenty of times before, and it did no good. You thought I was an easy mark. I wasn't going to find myself out on a limb by being tied in with any rustlers. And I got a different answer then. You didn't help me try to escape because you were the one that turned me into the sheriff. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we better find out what it's all about.
He's going that way. Go get him. Hey, now listen. Fun's fun, but you can't overdo it. I'm sorry, Jim. We expected to see you here. But how was we supposed to know the person wasn't you? Okay, okay, forget it. There's no chance to catch him now. Must have been some fight. You sure wrecked the place. That was only the first round. There'll be another one coming up. Come on, let's clean up the place. Making sure the boys will eat good on this trip. They deserve it. A cattle drive's no picnic, you know. Hello, Minnie. Where's Fuzzy? She's right this. Oh, he's riding a bike. <laughs> Listen, Fuzz, you better get rid of that toy before you cripple yourself. Now, you've got a lot of serious work to do. Yeah, maybe you think it ain't serious trying to learn to ride one of these contraptions. But any time I make up my mind to do something, I'll do it or bust my gizzard. I'm not interested in the condition of your gizzard. You know, that friend of yours, Dan Foster, is in for a lot of trouble if he doesn't get rid of that new trail boss he hired. Mm, what do you want me to do? What I want you to do, I want you to make him believe that. I don't feel like getting a man fired off a job when I can't prove nothing against him. You can take my word for it, Fuzz. Well, I... Well, all right, but I feel like an old gossiping busybody. I don't like it. Isn't it? Well, this is everything. All right, you can start back to the ranch now. All right. <laughs> well, it looks like you're all set for the big drive. Yes, they start with the herd day after tomorrow. Uh, you know, uh, I'd like to have a talk with your dad before he sends him out. I'm afraid he's made a poor choice, the man he picked for trail boss. So your friend changed his mind and decided he wanted the job after all, did he? Oh, Billy wouldn't say nothing against a fellow just to get his job. Just what I thought. Mr. Carson is in back of that story. That's a cowardly way to get revenge on a man he had a fight with. Uh, hold on. You, you got the wrong idea about the whole thing. Helen, my dear, I, how are you? It's been so long since you've been in town. I was afraid you might not know about the dance tomorrow night. Oh, I know about it, and don't worry. I'll be there. That's fine, and I know you have a wonderful time. As I was saying, I... We're I, so I, anxious to have it a big success, and we simply worked our fingers to the bone. And we went clear to the county seat to get an orchestra. Now, as I was saying... Uh, Mr. Right. Jones, I know we can count on you to see that no rowdy start any trouble. Yeah, that, that, that's my business, keeping the peace. Uh, now, Miss Helen, as I was saying... You should I, see the way we decorated the hall. It's perfectly lovely. Of course, it's supposed to be a secret till the night of the dance. But if I'll give you a little peek, I think it'll be all right. Now, Miss Helen, as I was saying, I... Uh, what, what was I saying? I... What's the matter, Fuzz? You look a little frazzled. Billy, they made a mistake when they ever taught a woman how to talk. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about that. Cheer up, kid.
attraction, adding to your enjoyment of tonight's festivities, our talented and fearless sheriff, Fuzzy Jones, sitting right over there. <laughs> He's going to demonstrate his mastery over a wild and vicious bicycle never before conquered by any man. <laughs> but I've got to warn you, the management is not going to be responsible for anybody hurt during the demonstration of this terrific struggle between man and metal monster. In other words, give him a lot of room. <laughs> Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Yeah, sort of. But it's fun. All right. Out here, bud. Billy Carson. I ought to bust you right in the nose so hard it would drape right over your left ear. Take it easy, take it easy, Fuzz. Don't let him see that you're afraid. Who's afraid of what? And besides, why don't you keep your big mouth shut? You want all these people to think that you're a coward? Maybe I am. Come on, get on there. You ready? No. No? No. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mr. Foster, it's all wrong. The boys are in camp. The herd's rounded up, ready to start. Now you give me a cock and bull story that I should fire my trail boss. Yeah, but Billy says the man's no good and he'll cause you trouble. Why isn't your friend Billy here to say that to the man's face? I don't know, but you can bet he's got a good reason for doing whatever he does. Not good enough for me. I'm going through with the setup just the way it is. All right, all right. I've done all I can. Now you can sweat it out yourself. Only be a couple of men handling the herd. Matt will make sure of that. You and the rest of the boys can handle them. Now get going.
Howdy, boy. Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. Where is everybody? I sent them all out to hunt strays. Why, you didn't need to do that. <laughs> I don't know how hard he was hit, though. Uh, how did I better, as long as it's pinned on my dear cousin? The boys can handle it from here on. Let's go. I bet you don't know it. A lot of people saw you shoot Dan Foster today and rustle his cattle. Billy Carson, you're a bad boy. Don't try to be cute. What's the idea? I'll tell you, but you won't like it. Untie him, Matt. I could have killed you. That's what I had in mind at first. Then I thought about the long time I spent behind iron bars, looking at the scenery. I wanted you to know what it was like. Put that on. You'll not get away with this. You wouldn't like to bet on that, would you? A foster girl will swear that she saw you shoot her old man. Saw Matt take out after you. It was a long, hard chase. He finally captured you and brought you on in. It'll make Matt quite a hero, huh, Matt? Yeah. All right, Matt. Take him back to town. Keep your eye on him. Don't worry. Nobody's putting anything over on me. All right, get going. I'll be seeing you in jail. You're not fooling. You'll be there as a permanent guest. Your friend Billy Carson just shot Dad and rustled our cattle. Why, that ain't possible. Don't tell me it isn't possible. I saw it with my own eyes. He rode into our camp and shot Dad in cold blood. That's How are you, Dad? Yeah, sure. You're be all right. Well, I think he's all right. He was resting easy when I left. But I'm going to send the doctor right well, out. Yeah, he ought to get lynched. That's all. If we ever lay our hands on him. Back me up and accusing this man of being a rustler? Will anybody call her a liar? No! I can stand back. Get inside. Come on. 
Don't you see? Stand back here, Stan. I want this bristle locked up. I know monkey business. Uh, don't you start telling me my duty. Hey, almost knocked the breath out of me when Helen Foster accused you. She thought she was telling the truth. The man she saw does look like me. It's going to be mighty hard to prove. It can be done if I'm not locked up. Never mind the palaver. I want action. You get it. on you, Jim, on account of your mother. It's all over now. You know, you had a lot of fun wearing my clothes into town before. I'm gonna let you do it again. Take off those clothes. You turned out to be a first-rate sheriff, and town can be proud of you. Yeah, but I, I don't want to be sheriff. I've got a business here to look after. Why don't you stay and take the sheriff's job? Me, Miss Helen? <laughs> no, not a chance. Yeah, go ahead, Billy. I ain't got the right constitution to be a sheriff. You ain't got the right constitution. You were sworn in as sheriff. You can't be a welcher. You've got to do your duty, boy. Uh, goodbye, Miss Helen. Goodbye. Goodbye, Fred. Good luck. Ah, right, come on now. Don't look so sad. Fuzzy, don't let him leave. Right through the window. Don't leave me now, don't leave me. I got so much to say, and so little time to say it. All right, Fred, I won't leave you. I prom promise you, you'll avenge me. I'll get him, Fuzz. If it takes the rest of my life, I'll get him. I I'd die happy now, if you let me swear you in as, as sheriff, uh, so you could go get him legal-like. Sure, Fuzz. Sure, anything you say. You swear to take over the sheriff's job and do your duty in upholding the law from now on? I do. 
No, I can say I died like a man with my boots on. I'm going fast, Billy. It's getting dark. I'm going over the Great Divide. Billy. Billy. You're the best friend I ever had. The best friend you ever had. Why, you old goat, I ought to kill you for pulling a trick like that. I... Goodbye. Uh, you can't go now. Can't go now? Why not? You're sworn in as sheriff. You can't be a Welsh. You've got to uphold the law. <laughs> okay, bless you. <laughs> 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 